Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of the Fun Fair Patter. Um, this one's a very special episode. I say that every time, don't I? But this is a very special episode because we have the man, the myth, the legend, Martin Cooper. We also have uh, Cy back with us. This is basically looking back at Martin's career as a photographer, his love for the fairs and all that, you know, all that wonderful stuff. Um, this is the first time I've actually spoken to Martin since um, all this lockdown stuff. I kind of feel like one of Carol Baskin's tigers in captivity at the moment. Um, yeah, so does uh, Sire Martin, I think. So we'll we'll get into that later. We'll, we'll see how Martin's coping and we'll see how Sire's coping. I'm sure he's got another rant for us. Um, <laughs> but yeah, welcome Martin Cooper to the uh, to the podcast. Hello. How are you, Coops? Not bad, thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Have you uh, have you found your nut yet, Martin? <laughs> 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 He's still looking for oh, it. That was funny, wasn't it? That was a funny one day. That no, wait, that was funny one, we had together. One of the best days yeah, I, of uh, I've ever had. I, I, I thought he found that in his wallet when we were. <laughs> oh yeah, Churchtown, wasn't it? Sorry. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. He did find yeah. it about about four months later. <laughs> yeah. Correct. Yeah, that was good. That was. That yeah, was that bloody good. thing keeps coming off loose. Because so, like, the first um. I had with that go back gum camera, yeah, that disappeared at South Sea, and I thought it disappeared under the rosa, but I had a look <laughs> and I couldn't see it. That's because you buy cheap I Chinese crap, and then it come off again. In its size, it's those cheap Chinese knockoffs you keep buying. You want to stop buying these cheap Chinese knockoffs, mate? I tell you now, <laughs> I know, I know, disgraceful. Like, so, um, Coops, what have you been doing to like pass the time during this horrible pandemic? Right, what I've been doing is uh, on on my website. On, on my website, I did a um, special feature of waltzes from all through nice. the years, from the old days. Yep, that's been done. Um, I've got another thing coming up soon, which I'm going to need to get proofread first. That's about um, a lot of people probably hear all the lingo and all the um, definitions that we you get on the fairs. Yeah, I thought I'd done a little. Um, I've done a. Basically, a glossary of it all. If that's going to come online at some point, I should be getting them asking one or two people to proofread it because I, when I send, uh, so that's a that's that's coming. Yep. Look forward um, to that. Yep. Because, um, we're all um, been keeping the main website, the main Facebook page, mm-hmm. going with the photographs from the early part of the last decade. Yeah, I've been enjoying those old those old photos. A lot of stuff in yeah. there I've never seen before. Yeah. Nice, isn't they? Also with um also with the on the archives page I've been rewinding back twenty years ago to the millennium year. Bloody hell. So it's great for me as well. It's bringing back some great memories. Yeah, absolutely. Then I wasn't I wasn't really into the fairs at that stage. So it's nice. I think for me so, so you were abroad then, weren't you, during that period? Yeah, I was in Asia then, so I missed mm. I missed the fairs between eight uh but 98 and 2002, really. That yeah. Was like, yeah. So at the time when before Bobby sold the roundup, I think it was his last few months was then. Mm. And it turned up, then it was at um, Easing Stoke with its new owner. What, yeah. that um, he said he's no longer with us, Paul Nichols. He was a nice fella. That's right. A million dollar question is, though, sorry. Mm hmm. Any luck finding that VHS of, cool, of Paul getting kicked in the nuts? Uh, Everyone wants <laughs> to see it, man. Oh, that was funny. Cop that. Worth... <laughs> Cop that. Oh, <laughs> girls, how about it? Um... <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> some, some, some funny, some funny stuff last week. It, oh, gotta God. be. I know. I say I laugh. I laugh so bloody hard. I need to go to the toilet. That's how bad it was. <laughs> you should buy us other size ten of men. Oh yeah, got oh, plenty dear. of them. They keep coming through in the post. I think I, I, think I must have lost a couple of stone after that. Oh, I think oh, I dear. found it, Coops. <laughs> <laughs> what the couple yeah, of stone? Yeah. yeah, I found I found that couple of stone. Down weight. Oh, for God's sake! Yeah, but that was Got brilliant uh, last week, wasn't it, Coops? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, enjoy that podcast. So the, basically, the format today is we're going to ask Coops some uh, some questions, then we're going to go on to some YouTube questions, and uh, we'll have a, a jolly good laugh through the through the uh, through the Sophie, through the uh, through the pod. You know what I mean? <laughs> the pod. Through the pod, the we'll pod, have a really pod, good laugh yeah, as yeah. we do it. You know the general. The general kind of rule we follow here is 
we ask a few questions, but then we kind of take it and have a laugh with it. It's, uh, it's a bit of fun, isn't it? Um, so, Coop, should we go way back? I know it's, uh, it's a long way time back. to do, and you're old, and your, your memory is probably not what it was. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> can you remember, like, how old you were? The grey hairs are showing. Yeah, that's right. Some people can put it off, like, sorry. Uh, yeah. The silver yeah. fox. Yeah. Saying that, Coops, you don't look half bad of a few greys. I think it suits you. Um, oh, by the way, this uh, this podcast isn't sponsored by Slazinger. We couldn't get them to uh, sponsor us, sadly. But I'm sure Coops has got a... <laughs> <laughs> Slazzy <laughs> I'm podcast. Sure, I'm sure you've got a Slazzy t- t-shirt on right now, haven't you, Coops? Sure I have, yeah. There you go. What about underwear? Slazzy? Ow. Calvin Klein? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Slaz and just Speedos. Speedos? Long's it fits on, that's the main thing. But budgie smugglers, you've got some budgie smugglers on. What <laughs> 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 well, Coops? He's got, his, he's got his summer Speedos on. His summer ones. Yeah. He's got his summer body ready. You, I'll have to wait till next year now, Coops, before you start hit, hitting uh, the beaters. Strap on? <laughs> <laughs> uh, didn't a horse from Take It Back then? <laughs> loved it. Oh God! Yeah, but, um, yeah big shout out to the Johnny Boy if he's listening. Yeah, Johnny, there you go, mate. We love Johnny Boy. Didn't we? He, he loved yeah. yesterday's stream, didn't he? Me covered in makeup. Uh, he was trying to come he's on to me. Buying, he's the one that's buying the bloody canvas. Um, yeah, canvas, yeah. <laughs> I, d- I don't know. It's not wiped clean, so I don't know what he's going to do with it. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> right, we're getting off topic. Right, mysteriously changed colour, wasn't it? Yeah, oh. yeah. Oh, all the colours <laughs> will run. Uh, right. Um, let's, let's go way back, Coops. What, what's your earliest memory of the fun fair and what attracted you to it? Right. I can tell you, when I was a kid, yeah, my parents, bless them when they were alive, they were well into, they were very much into, they're very much into steam and yeah. traction engines and all that. They, were, they used to go to all the rallies. Yeah. Of course, when I was a kid in the push chair, when you see the lights, you see the Ferris wheel going around and the carousel mm. spinning, the gallopers, I mean, which <laughs> <laughs> Don't get you them mixed the, up. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> you see the gallopers turning and the chair airplanes and all. You see all their eyes going around. You just sort of get hooked. It's and the bug, isn't it? Then, we spoke about last yeah, week, so. I mean, bug, yeah, well, yeah. Mum, even my mum used to, go to the, used to go to the fair a lot when she was young because I've got early rec- re- re- recollections of but when Billy Davis used to actually winter here in Borden itself, down the bottom of the hill. Yeah. And just down the road from where I live now, they used to open behind a set of, um, in the car park behind what where was was a fish and chip shop. Yeah. I can remember this very well. I can remember, I can remember um, Trickett's Octopus being set up because that always used to travel with them. Oh, that, right. Cool. Yeah, they that, always, they often used to open with Billy. And one year as well, opposite where I live now, Billy went in there one year and he had, and it had a... Um, I remember this was, I'm talking early 80s here. Bloody he hell. Had a, he, had a one, <laughs> he had a one-off fair in there. I can still remember it now. I can remember a Ferris wheel in there. Wow. So he's got, even from the push chair, that's your earliest, um, you yeah. know, your earliest memories. Of the when, my dad, when my dad was alive, he still, he still talked about when Star Payne was so muddy one year, they left the pup, they met, left the push chair behind because it was cakes in mud. <laughs> couldn't get it out. because left it. You weren't in it, were you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just left him there and all. Oh, well, let's, let's I leave still see, I still remember the sights that when I was young of um, two, ferret, two big wheels in the front row. Um, also, the Coronation Speedway, I can remember that, seeing that there. Which is now, I think that's now up at um, Folly Farm. It was there, I can mm. remember that in the front row. Your bloody, gallop- mem- your bloody memory, Coop. Horses Gallopers, of course, <laughs> goes back a long way to my my youth. Yeah. So, um... Some involved- I'm involved with doing their, their web their um, web work now, so that's really sort of brings us an honour to do that. I mean, so, Coops, when when you got into the fairs, it was all man powered then. <laughs> dinosaur I mean, run on dinosaurs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah it's got, like Fred Flintstone there. Fred do there, you, like dinosaur. <laughs> do you remember, Coops? Do you remember the the, the um, juvenile chair planes that they used to do by hand? Oh, the hand turned chairs. Yeah, I think I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah I do. Yeah. They used. To, I remember I them. One show and had a set of cha- into her chairs. Used to do the local fates. Yeah, that's right. I, no, that's... I can remember it. Bloody hell, boys! Uh, 
you, you, you uh, dinosaurs. And dinosaurs. also, I can tell you back in the eighties, I remember what um, John Wall's run because we also used to go to Hazelmere because they used to open mm. there and um, up just up the hill from where you would have seen Peter Shaler. He used oh, to right, go oh, in yeah. the car park and always John. And then that days had an octopus that travelled with him from the Hammond family. Simon remembers that when he was young. And Hammond's Dude. octopus. Yeah. I've never yeah. done an octopus. And pay, Pauline Pavey's twist. I bet you remember oh. that cyclone. That was a fast machine. Oh, is that the one you said about the other day on Facebook? The grass Yeah, that would, that would have killed you, Dave, that twist. It yeah, was so fast. Fastest, fastest twist yeah. I've ever, ever rode. And John oh, Wall John Wall also used to own the Roundup that um, Simon travelled with. He oh, sold did he? It. He had it? Yeah, he had it for yeah. a year. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. He sold it for a brand new paratrooper off Bennett's. Oh, bloody yeah. hell. Red Lider. Remember that when I was a kid? Was that twist yeah. faster than Peter Shaler's last year, Sai? Because that was yes. lightning quick. Bloody hell. Yes. Mm. Something about a yeah. grass cutter, isn't it, Sai? Um, Benson's old grass cutter as well. That used to fly. Yeah. They're, they're my well, favourite types Pauline, of twisters, grass cutters. Pauline's is without a doubt the fastest I've ever, ever uh, done. Um, uh, when we had a staff ride one time, I thought we were going to just take off. It was, <laughs> it was did, she, did she just open her up for the staff? Yeah, yeah. He completely. Completely. For her, didn't he, if I remember. Sorry? I think Paul Kendall used to manage it for her. Big lad, yeah. Yeah. And Stephen yeah. Day used to manage the parachute for John. That's right. His brother. Going back a few years there, Coops. It's going back a few <laughs> years, yeah. That's it, Coops has got all the memories. I really do. I do miss that twist. I really wish I could buy right. that twist again. Where is it now, then? In Kent. Oh, it's still, it's still in this country? About, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's still in the country, yeah. Travel of, course, still. of course, when yeah. Paul Lynn solved the twist, Bobby Day <laughs> travelled on Paul's on, on Wall's run in the nineties with his twist. Mm. The, the grass cutter. You remember Paul? You remember that side? Which one? Sorry, whites on it. Used to have whites all round it. Yes, I do. Yeah, mm. bought it from yeah. whites of Scotland. So, Coops, your um, who's, what's your local uh, ground, and uh, who who who's on who runs that ground? What's your local showman? Well, yeah, for years we always had because when back in the late eighties when I was at, well, I was at secondary school, cricket put on a fair eighteen eighties. Eighteen eighties, yeah. When I was at school, I remember because Jack, um, we didn't have any fairs locally, so Jack tries put a new ground, try Jubilee Park. Um, yeah, trick it, yeah. yeah. Which is, of course just around the back of where I live now. It's the opposite yeah. side, but. That used to be five minutes' walk from your home when I lived in Borden. It's set in the middle of Borden. Oh, is it? Yeah, I've better mentioned that. Uh, Coops is yeah. from Borden. He's a Hampshire lad, <laughs> like me and Si. Yeah, good lad. Yeah. Hampshire boys on tour. Yeah. <laughs> take the boys out of Hampshire, but you can't take the Hampshire about the boys. Absolutely. Yeah. So you, you've always had a, a, a love for fairs ever since you were a little nipper then, Coops. I was just in the blood, mate. Yeah, that's it. Like, yeah. like you said um, about all the lights, I think that you you said that yeah. last week. Yeah, lights, the, um, yeah, the, spear, the lights. Smell of candy floss. So I could see it from his bedroom window, couldn't you? Side the fair, and it used to look yeah, at it out the window and yeah. the old house I lived in. Yeah, used to, when it was on Northwold Park. Yeah, could see could see it perfectly from um, my window. It's like a moth to a flame, isn't it? Really, um, for a lot yeah. of people. But then a lot of people do grow out of it when they're older. But then some like us, it kind of just sticks, doesn't it? Um, you grew into it as you got older. I did. <laughs> yeah, God. I, so. I would have loved it as a kid. I've been watching a lot of like um, older videos. On, I've been watching Cooper's channel today, studying for this podcast and some of his older videos. Um, tell you what, I would have loved to have been around in the 90s. And fairs even, like, those fairs, look, the atmosphere looks incredible. You can even see the atmosphere through the video. It's 80s, looks, 90s. Yeah, you just don't get that anymore, those. do you? Unfortunately, I've been watching no. some old videos from um, Hull over the 90s. You just see how, look, just look at the rides, what they were there. Like, yeah. Some of them were just. A lot of novelties that was about. I saw a um, um, was it Dorset on one of your videos? I saw a bloody moon rocket. Um, That's right, yeah. That must have been, was it 96? Does that sound the, right? What, the moon Correct. rocket, what, the simulator? Proper moon rocket, like the one the that is. moon it? rocket, the ride, the X Shores machine. The one is that's that down from yeah, yeah, yeah. Dingles. Yeah. Is that the one from Dingles? Howard Maiden came down from Gore with it, open there for one year. That's right, I couldn't believe it when I saw that. <laughs> Yeah. You had the that equinox. Year, that year was a legendary year, ninety six. Was that the year the equinox and that was there? Oh, oh there's no. crazy shape open there that year. That's right. The gas in the video. There's one shot you, you get coops of the fair, and you get like um, 
you got like the uh, Sky Master going. There's like three or four rides in the shop, and none of them you see anymore. Really, it's brilliant. It's a brilliant shot. Uh, you Tri Star. Get. That's right, Tri Star. And then yeah. you got the um, the Sky Master going. You have got a Rocco plane sat at the back. It's brilliant. All the that, good stuff. That says to me like nineties fairs. That one shot screams nineties fairs with those classic Ooh. rides. Um, oh, it's just such a shame. Like you know, we'll, 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 the times, mate. We'll, we'll come on to that later because it was a question we asked Sai last week. We we want to get how um, how fairs have changed in your opinion. But I got that on the list. So Do so that. so coops. When you did you, you, you go on? I'm just going to say you you started to say you said to coops. What was your first fair? Who does your local one? Yeah, well, you let me start half of it. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Drifty so, to me. Sorry, not Coops. Like, like he'll, he'll be chatting all day if we let him. <laughs> cut. Hey, you cut, 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 cut. <laughs> cut that. Cut that. Right, Coops. Sorry, mate. Go ahead. Continue what you were saying. I'll try and. Oh, yeah, well, um, Jack, because out. Jack put a new fair on at Jubilee Park. This was September, I think it was 87. It was the year that Burnett's first got the twist. Oh, when it was. I and then, have a bloody clue, mate. Yeah, they first got the <laughs> twist there. And it was that. It was just that. It's Dodgems and um, Burnett's Walser that year. Machines, and then the follow. Then the following year, Burnett um, Burnett brought the Oxpus along as well. So, oh. and that started coming on a regular basis. That did. Then the rock was replaced by the rocket plane, wasn't it? He replaced that with a roundup. Oh, the roundup. The roundup. Yeah, roundup they, they used to have a rocket plane yeah, go with the. That was like nineties. That was. Mm. So, for you, like a one fair a man a year, you weren't actually travelling to fairs at this stage. You just wait till the fair come around, go every year. I used to go to I used to go to Peter's all time fair every year. That was a oh, big one years ago. So even from early age, you used to travel around a bit, get into fairs because a lot yeah. of people would just literally yeah. wait for all... the local fairs to roll around. Yeah. There's still the local local ones. Well, look at Carnival back in the old yeah. days. I used to get a lot of machines in there. Get a lot of surprises. That's it. When it was, yeah. You don't... You do, I do think like nowadays you don't you don't get as many surprises as the olden days. Do you? It's very very safely played for some grounds. You get the same you rides. Might get a new twist. <laughs> yeah, new twist, new Miami come down. But yeah, that'll do. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You don't get those big surprises. Not not often. Um, it's just not worth most... their time now, is it? Coming all the way all the way down the country. Not down south. Days. Nah. Not down south. But like you said, even like Southampton Common used to that used to bring some big big machines, didn't it? From Big. all over the country. Oh, I yeah. think it was when didn't, well, I think Peter Cole. I think it was Peter Cole who got friendly with James um, James Mellors, and he brought his stuff down. This was, I think, two yeah. uh, thousands. Must have been. I'll tell you what. It was about two thousand and seven when when Mellors were there because you were back from Thailand. When you I saw was back there, from there. Thailand, yeah. and they had the they bought the wild mouse. Didn't they have the crazy shake? Crazy Shake was there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah but the I crazy think they went earlier than that as well, didn't they? Crazy Shake one year went there one year and then went straight to Dorset. Ah. That's correct. The August oh, event. That. That's right. That's right. I remember that. The what August time. event has really shrunk as well. Mm. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Oh, we lost Sai. He's gone. <laughs> oh, so done. Sai's just been booted out of the podcast. We'll try and get Sai back in. <laughs> what the hell? He's back. He's back. I don't know what happened there. What happened there? I didn't do Stop anything, that. I promise. Yeah, I, thought, I, thought, I, thought, I thought Coop was sending you to sleep, so you look logged off. I'm going out, <laughs> boy. Without even saying anything, I'm just going. I've had enough of this. If I've seen anyone to sleep, I can. So, Coops, the, right, that's your local fair, really, then. Burnett's, I suppose, at the moment, isn't it? Yeah. Burnett's is your... Local fair growing up, they haven't been they haven't been to Borden for a while now because I think it started to fizzle out a little bit. Yeah, and it's also they also did um go up to Hedley Green sort of once and now, and that was originally a Billy Davis ground. Burnett's took it over when Billy Billy let it go. So, what's your well, local fair, Coops? What's closest in mile radius to you? What would you class as your local local? Um, I got I got Jubilee Park this way. I've also got as well every November fireworks, which is about a mile up the road for me at um, the yeah, country market. So you're got quite they have a fair there last year at yeah. the fireworks. Yeah, the roads ah. came directly from Nottingham. Okay, yeah, oh, we're missing um, a trick here. We didn't go to that one. 
No, did, well, it's firework was, one, isn't it? They burn it to that one. Yeah. Did they? Because I know another local one for you, Coops. Ain't that far, is it? Is um, um, Alton, I suppose, yeah. really? Yeah, Alton's quite close to you, Coop. But Alsford as well. It's not too bad. Yeah. I'm also back at back. Um, I'm talking the 80s. There, um, there used to be free fairs here at Alton because yeah. Billy, Billy Davis used to do a fair in Anstey Park for the carnival. Yeah, was it just the two a year now? Was it, is it both yeah, shows? Yeah. They're going two different times, aren't they? So, but that's shrunk a lot as well, isn't it? So, si? over the oh, years, yeah. mm. I can remember yeah. that. You used to get eight machines there at one point. Bloody hell! Mm. Even the first get, year yeah. I went, it was quite as eight machine, uh, seven, eight, six. No, yeah, about seven, eight machines, aren't they? So, si? yeah, that's when you had the TriStar and the Rotor and once they had it was the there. Yeah, there yeah, was quite super, a bit there, wasn't there, that again? Yeah, it was probably about seven or eight machines there. Um, oh, is that one. The roundup was there, the frogs at the back. So, Coops, yeah. when, did, when, did you, when did you get into photography and start um, taking photo affairs? Was it just a thing you did just to keep for yourself? Yeah, it was something I just developed during the eight. I think it was about, I was bought a camera for my birthday in the late, in the mid 80s. Yeah. A little, um, one of those little, um, small. Was it one of those um, 110 ones? It was just small film. I just yeah. progressed from there to 35 mil. I was doing that in my younger day. 35 Jesus. mil. You, you yeah, still use, you still use that, yeah. don't you, uh, so, Coops? <laughs> he only uses them now. He only uses them now for his upskirts. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. He's got, he's got a bloody dark room in his house. I stopped. <laughs> yeah. I stopped using the films back in the bar. It must have been about fifteen years ago. Yeah, went digital. I've been digital ever since. You oh. never look back. No, no you don't digital. You don't ever look back. back do you? Way. No. Um. So when so you so you got that camera for your birthday, you started developing interest in taking photos. When did you decide to start putting these online? I've, I.g., the website, the social media, obviously came a lot later. But the website would have been around since what the late nineties. That's from what that's when the internet really kicked in. Or was it early 2000s? It was. I remember Simon remember this. When during the late late nineties, there was yeah. message forms around, and um, <laughs> that's right. Start communicating. Yeah, yeah. They, because Bill Edwards has got the All Fun Affair, which he started in ninety seven, and he's still going now. He's he's been. It's, it's probably the most successful fairground communication medium going, and it's still go, it's still. Mm. With Standing social media because he has a lot of memories I mean, that used, used to social media. That yeah. used to tell me exactly where the fairs were going at exactly mm. the times, you know. Yeah. But it's mm. you don't yeah. seem to get that as much on useful it. Useful resource because they got rise lists and all that, and you can yeah, see. Yeah, it used to tell you what rides were going, didn't it, as well, to the fair. You used yeah. to have the fair mm. and the lineup like before it was before you would know, before it was released. Yeah. That's awesome, that is. Cooper's Cooper's website was used to keep me um semi-sane in asia when i was out there i always used to, to look at cooper's website when i was out in asia because it was like i missed the fairs you know so i remember what, looking uh, at cooper's website you remember what i first fair. called it oh um, no i've always known it as fair picks wasn't it wasn't, it was something about wasn't it southern something or other no no i know that you cooper's you, nut dot com cooper's nut it's <laughs> <laughs> completely different. You wouldn't even know what. So, I, actually, I tell you, I originally called it Doctor Chaos's Fun Fair site. Oh, oh wow! I don't, I don't remember it then. Yeah, it was because no, no. it was all because when I was started on the, I first saw my first email address. I signed up to FreeServe. For, um, <laughs> no. Because I was on there, I picked up FFNet, and I was just thinking I couldn't get a name. I thought, oh, I'll, I'll put. I put myself as Doctor Chaos. Doctor Chaos. So it's stuck, and it's stuck. And it's stuck, and it's stuck. Keep getting um, called by stuff. You go, all right, Doctor Chaos. So that's what we're gonna have to call him now, Si. Doctor Chaos in the vlogs. Chaos. <laughs> Cooper, Cooper oh brings chaos. Cooper, yeah, that, Doctor if, Chaos is here. If there was ever a name that doesn't fit a person, Doctor Chaos doesn't fit you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, fair picks yeah, came yeah. on the following year because that's when I started to store my pho photography. I like because, fair picks. It's, uh, it's got yeah. a ring, good ring now to it's it. Developed and I rebranded it a few years later. I thought, no, I sod it. I'll be fair picks. That's it. Done. Started. Yeah. I'll look back. So what, how, what's the, the kind of the, on your website? What's the backlog of photos? What kind of year does it go up to? I bet you must have some right gems on there. 
Go back to the archives. You're going to talk back to the early nineties. The early nineties. Are they all free to view, or is there any kind of membership scheme on your website? Are they all free for anyone to to feel uh, to use, not use, but look at? One hundred percent free to view. That's brilliant. Don't do a membership or that. See the link to oh, Cooper's I'm website will be in the description. School. Yeah, go and check Cooper's website. Old school poops. Old school. Old school. Tell you what, just make just what the Cooper the ones Cooper's been posted recently have really uh, really been eye opening to see some some machines back then and even like stuff that's still traveling today they look different back there they're just really good to look at go back and have a look at some of these older machines and uh like, like i said earlier the 90s seemed like the time to to really be at the fairs it just thinking so some of those machines in the 90s would have killed dave wouldn't they <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah the way they were run yeah i bet health and safety have killed a killed a lot of that now the way they were run they have mm. yeah it's like we said about just, the. Um, I was just thinking that uh, my old favourite from the 90s, a skydiver, you wouldn't have survived on that. What's that one you posted with? It's like a Ferris wheel with spinning cars. What was that it's one? Right. Yeah, yeah, the skydiver. Is that the skydiver? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's an American chance machine. It's 70 foot high. The, yeah. cup, the pods that you sit in, they're like the ones on the toboggan. But they look like same, zipper cars. They're the same design. Is it a zipper? They fit around the wheel. Yeah. They, they fit around the rim of the wheel. Yeah. And, Designed, you can actually turn. They they got a wheel fitted as you're getting the car, and as, as you're locked in the capsule, you can turn the wheels around as it's going round. Pretty hell. Uh, the last uh, point is when the ride comes and then you get to the bottom, you end up lopsiding or hanging upside down. It's so funny. Yes, uh, it sounds really ride, good. High <laughs> ride, and I can remember riding this. I don't know if he's listening to this, Richard Bambrook. Yeah, I know Richard. He rode it at Bridgewater, and I think it was about the late nineties, and. It it was a muddy year as well. We we just come off King Loops. We thought we'd give that a go. We had a good ride in that. I thought, all right, okay, let's do the skydiver. So we went on it, and it was hilarious. And there was mud bit mud flying everywhere, and we were going all over the place. It was crazy. So I was one of the most craziest rides I've ever ridden. It sounds it amazing, amazing, but it sounds it amazing. Like it'd kill me. Yeah. Dave would have been. Dave would have cried. Can he? Can he rock it manually? He can't rock it manually. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, bloody! They've got, they got, the, they got wheels. Oh, yeah, the, oh, bloody hell! No, I like like, like, the, like yeah. teacups. No, I wouldn't do it. Yeah. Sorry, no yeah. chance. And like some break dancers, have got them got them steering wheels too. Actually, the one yeah, the one at Barry, the one at Barry Island had them, didn't it? Was right. that a Huss model? No, no, the one at Barry wasn't no. a Huss. I don't think. No. no, bloody hell, guys. Um, yeah. There's another ride I think I, I I remember now. I know Dave wouldn't have survived on that. I don't know if Simon remembers at Southampton back, I think it was about 93. It's a very muddy year. And yes. Billy Joe Putney came along with this ride called the Scat. It was yeah, like scat. a double roundup. The double roundup, like basically. Two mini roundups, but like. Yeah, on a of... V shaped some crock bracket. Yeah. <laughs> what? The hell? And, and the cages span round the same direction as the actual bracket. Yeah. Over the top. Have you got photos of that got, or videos? When, I ran on this yeah. at and when he got spinning up, I God, I was I felt like I was plastered against the cage. <laughs> you get your head up. <laughs> oh, was that, it, yeah. it must have been pulling about six or seven G. It was incredible. Bloody hell. Yeah, I remember seeing when they were building it up and Bobby was like, for Christ's sake. <laughs> was he living <laughs> sorry? <laughs> was he wasn't happy. You know, because it, it was similar to what you know, yeah. similar to the roundup. So he was. Well, it's not, like a new model, so people are going to choose that, aren't they? Over the over the traditional roundup. I remember it being new. that successful, though. No, it wasn't, was it? I, I remember no. we we took we were going up and down and moving a lot more than they were. So you know, Bobby needn't worry. The main time that Bobby really complained was when John Sell uh, Senior just got a pitch as well. <laughs> so there were two roundups. Oh, yeah, the meteorite. Is that uh, the meteorite? Yeah, the he was on the better position too, wasn't he? He was, yeah, because he was at the front there and we was mm. at the back, weren't we? Terry knew his old Walter position, wasn't it? He, he bought. That's right. Yeah, Terry's so I think Terry's. position. And then um, Surly Jr. got the twist position for the ski jump. That's right. And frogs. I don't think yeah. people realise just how important um, plot land positioning is to fairs. It's, it's a killer, isn't mm. it? If you get put in the wrong position, that's your trade. Uh, that's right, yeah. Gone. It's like the two ghost trains at Red Hill, isn't it? Uh, so I, one right yeah. at the front when you walk in, and one right at the bottom corner gets left, left, uh, left out. It's the, the best one. Yeah, <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything, but so I just said it. It's a shame. It's a shame when uh, 
duplicate rides. Again, I'm sure you get it a hole in. Well, does Hull have many duplicates, Coop? Or is it just Goose, really, that have a lot of dupes? Hull gets duplicates, all right. Yeah. But it's like, I don't know if you saw that recent photo I put on the archives page. I put an aerial photograph, and I asked how many Miami's were in the photograph. Is that the whole one? Yeah. Yeah, I did see that. Yeah. 28. 28 Miami's? <laughs> <laughs> no, that was Goose, wasn't it? Yeah. No, whole that year had eight Miamis. Eight Miamis? Yeah. Bloody hell. And 96. But, but who's the one, who, who did the best? Is it the one right at the entrance and you walk in? Because that's normally people who jump on the first ride they see, don't they, at fairs? If you're not an enthusiast, you don't know what you're going for. You can't just kind of walk in and jump on whatever. <clears throat> I think who had the best position out of them all? Actually, I was just thinking, I was um, walking around the ground. Um... Can hear the wheels turning. Yeah, the, <laughs> the old clog, uh, in, cog, cogs are most, going, aren't they? Most, most, <laughs> most, of them, most of them were in sort of offset positions. Yeah, I can remember from back then. It wasn't <laughs> like you could find them. There's a Miami straight in front of you. So they're quite all, small all footprints place. as well, aren't they? So you can get them in like corners yeah. and stuff quite well. well. I tell you which one I think it would have been Man, James Mellors. He had one of the prime positions on the main row with his. Which one's funny though? Isn't it, funny that, isn't it funny that the Miamis aren't popular in Europe? It just seems to be the UK. Same as the waltzes, isn't it, really? It's uh, mm. just like... I don't know about that side, but I think they're quite popular in Holland. Every year I've been to Tilburg, <clears throat> there's at least one Miami there, and they do ride well there. Is it KM, the KMG-built ones, though? Is it them? Yeah, a lot of them are. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, KMG, yeah. The water's we've, spray we've water. only got one KMG one in the country, haven't we? No, I think there's a, I think there's two. Is there two? I know there's one at Breen Leisure, which is the yeah. the one that's the water jets. Also isn't got it? Czech Republic in Holland as well, actually. Oh, I don't like those Czech Republic yeah. Miami. Yeah, they got some of those ones built by um oh, Cole Max. Is it Cole Max? It's Cole they Max. Look like, yeah, Cole Max. They look like they look like got the steam wheels on the back, don't they? Yeah, they're like, wheel, yeah. wheel driven, aren't they? They make me feel sick, the motion of it. They're too smooth. You've got to have a bit of roughness to your ride, I think. <laughs> you like it rough? I like it rough and ready, baby. <laughs> Cooper, is, your, is that your missus, I can hear? <laughs> can you hear that dog? <laughs> that's someone that's the dog at the front barking. I didn't know you could hear that. <laughs> Cooper, put a muzzle on her. <laughs> yeah. No chance. <laughs> Lock her back under the stairs, Coop. She's filming. <laughs> cool, uh, uh, we've got any got any old stories coops you'd like just funny stories from the gaff back in the time back in the day oh man I know you got, I, i'll tell you what, i can tell you, put you on the spot. One now. I'll tell you one now this was a very funny story <laughs> here we go <laughs> strap <laughs> strap yourselves in all of us went to um to holland it was yeah. me Frank york david rag he came with us and Dave Whisker. So, um, and all of us, we all went to Holland. Or, yep. so, no, actually, Germany and Holland. We went to Tilburg. And also, we, but we did Dusseldorf first. Went there, and we went to Tilburg. And we stayed at this lovely hotel on the outskirts of the city. Yep. We went into Tilburg on Saturday. And we turned up there. And, of course, we didn't, you didn't even watch XXL going. And it was flying over the taxi rank as soon as we turned up. Next minute, me and David Bragg were straight on it. We thought, right, let's ride it. <laughs> yeah. let's <go." laughs> that was a funny one that day. Um, You've got no fear, though, Coops, you ain't. You, you, uh, you inside, any two people I know. Me and David Bragg are two of a kind. He's got no fear either. He'll jump on anything. Hey, Cy. Si. Look at Cy's si yeah. si on that. In that. Following following morning was, was when the laugh started. Yeah. I shared a room with Frank, and the two days shared a room together. Morning, yeah. morning, me and Frank got up nice and early because we we're going to go and do Efteling for the day. Theme, theme uh, park? <laughs> what the hell is this? Right, that's uh, it. Serious? That's yeah, it. it was good. Get I enjoyed out. it. Hey, Coops, I get off this park. <laughs> <laughs> I actually enjoyed Efteling. I thought it was a lovely park. That's yeah. Doing. They're uh, different than UK uh, theme parks, aren't they? Yeah, these European yeah. parks. Definitely. Got a nice woody yeah, there, isn't they? Going back to it, um, we woke up, got a breakfast, and we just said, It's Dave. Dave, right, we went upstairs, knocked on the door of, the, of their room. 
Jamie Rag opens the door up in his nighty. Nighty. <laughs> Uh, and we asked Dave, well, where are you two? What's happened to you two, then? Dave, they both overslept. David had been sleeping in the bathroom because he couldn't <clears> take <throat> Dave snoring. <laughs> he had a pillow in the bathtub. Oh. That's bloody yeah. brilliant. <laughs> I said to David, will you be sleeping in the bath? Was <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah. And late in the day, we all went for... But um, I can remember it's so funny that we in at that's Efteling itself. Yep. Decided to go for a walk, have a go on a couple of rides together. It was me, Frank, and David. Yeah. And Dave Sounds said, romantic. Dave, Dave yeah. said, I'll have a ride. <laughs> Dave said, I'll have a ride in the train. So I fancy something to date. So we left into it. Went on the train. <laughs> went on the pirate boat. I think it was there. The half moon. Yeah. And did we do something else? We came back down, waited for Dave. A station for him to come back. Yep. And he got back. He was head down. He was only 40 weeks. Oh, my God. <laughs> Some people haven't got the stamina. Can... Day, he say, yeah, he was, I think you must have. He said, Dave, was that, do you enjoy that, Ben? He said, uh, 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was hardcore. <laughs> oh. oh can tell you, well, I was just thinking that when we have, went previous year i think it was the previous it was december the four of us went to jerk we went to scotland yeah went to the secc that's another laugh that was yeah i went uh, we went we stopped at um i think we started the day out we went to a few yorkshire gaffs and went across the 62 to i think we did bolton at lancashire had a quick stop there we head up the m6 and then the m a74 to glasgow Oh, oh bloody miles. hell. Friday night, the forecast was snow followed by rain. It's <laughs> bloody hell. Through. And coming up, the M74, the A74M, I think, is where all the, ma- all the mountains are. Yeah. Heavy <laughs> snow was bloody blowing <laughs> over. I thought, bloody hell. But luckily, the road wasn't, wasn't it wasn't lane. It was, it was. Um, yeah. There's yeah. a lot of traffic on the road. It's killing it dead. Quiet. Yeah, the road was quiet. Luckily, we got up to te- we got up there though. We got we stayed in the travel lodge near the airport. Was it one of those one with the heart heart sh- heart shaped jacuzzi? <laughs> <laughs> the old mirrors, mirrors on the ceiling. Red mirrors light. on the ceiling. Coops, mate. I know about your trip. Oh, so I think as well. Bloody when we got out of room, I shared a room with David Rag that night. I and bet then, you did. Uh, yeah. I can remember that. I bet bloody, you ragged him. His phone call, right? So, Woke up with a sore <laughs> ass. <laughs> we, this is the uh, 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 what was it? Bloody come up! What did he come up with? This is the um, downstairs recording. You, um, this is the hotel reception calling that you have done. Um, I can't remember what he said. It was on me and Dave were going. What? What's going on? <laughs> uh, they were telling we need to be come downstairs because of uh, the room was been double booked or something like. That. I can't remember what we, we came. What was said? But it was just. Yeah. Confused the <laughs> us. And then we came downstairs, and then um, Ben Dave said, "What are you pissing you about?" Big Dave Whisker mucking about. Oh, sorry, did he keep Coopsy cutting out? Yeah, you cutting out there, Coopy boy. I oh, can't hear okay. him. <laughs> right, okay, yeah. I think uh, Coops is still on dial-up yeah. broadband. Yeah. Sorry okay. about that, audience. If Coop is cutting out a bit, I do apologise. 56k modems, yeah. Yep, yeah. yeah, I think I remember Dave. Come, um, Dave was mucking us about a little bit. He, 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 he fooled us. Following day at SECC, he got you out of bed. Out. He got you out of bed. <laughs> Eight o'clock in the morning, we we're having breakfast, and it was still dark. Was that yeah. Scotland in, in December? Yes, yes, yeah, dark. Well, they don't have much light in December, do they? They don't have much light in the summer, do they? Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit of a dull place, isn't it? No, no offence, many Scottish people are listening. <laughs> you got I some guess. awesome fun fairs, by the way. I'm going to back to it. Uh, yeah, it went up there. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was good. It was a good trip. You know, it was. Um, but I think it's because basically because of the way the sun is. Yeah. Because the further north you are, the less daylight you'll see up there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, because when it was up there, Newcastle, it's still light at ten o'clock in the evening. That for the um, so hoppings, yeah. that's when the hoppings, yeah. So yeah. they get more, so they get more like that, that time of year. Yeah, going back to going back to the Saturday, 
but what was it the set? No, it was a Friday. It was a Friday. It was the thirtieth. Yeah, Glasgow. Went in the SEC. Say he got in there, did a few machines. At one machine, I'm gonna tell you now, though. There was one machine that nearly killed me at night that day. Bloody what hell! That? Yeah, yeah. No, that's unheard of. Mm. I tell you what it was, and I tell you what, Dave, Dave nearly died in it in Milton Keynes. Oh, is that super spin? Indeed. Bloody hell, that thing is crazy. And, yeah, I don't, know they soup, I don't know whether they suited the program up or not, but I didn't feel very good afterwards. No, that's, the, that's what, yeah, with me. I felt very good that weekend. It didn't make you feel there. sick. It just messes yeah. with your head, doesn't it? A couple of years later, I went on the other super spin in the country, which currently is not, um, I don't know whether it's going to open at all, um, when they come back out at all. That one, I rode it in the Goose Fair, I loved it. Yeah. So it that one is, but, that it one is programmed, you think? I don't know. It was weird. I just didn't feel very good. Coming home, we came back. We stopped at um, M and D's, which of course is uh, yeah, that's hello, been now, uh, yeah. We stopped there, yeah, and they had one of the machines ready for um, ex- to, for exporting to the far east for the far east Eastern Europe. Yeah. It was a street dancer, which is their break dance, which lift up in the air. That was yeah. ready to leave the country, so we managed to see that before it went. I did one of them at, down in South Sea. One of those yeah, that lifts. Right. Yeah. We came home. We came. We came when we dropped at Leeds. Yeah. And, um, they had a New Year fair on the Millennium Square, which used yeah. to be when it's to be um, Valentine's Fair used to be in the nineties. All right. We, car, we went with Dodgem was there. Being Dave, big Dave, he went and uprooted me and nearly took, nearly kicked me off the Dodgem. I was trying. I don't know whether I managed to get how I get to get back down again. He did literally did. <laughs> Me off the track, <laughs> hit me so hard. There you go, Chris. Didn't beat that one, mate. Yeah, I was gonna uh, say, bloody hell. Hey, it's a big day, he's a, he's a bruiser on the dodgems. Oh, bloody hell. Saying that, he's you're a bit of a menace, Coops, on those dodgems, aren't you? He is a menace, of course. I am, yeah. Someone's got to be a menace at you, ain't they? That's it. Well, yeah, that's it, mate. That's it. You and Christian together on a track, you bloody hell. You ain't, you ain't getting no, that. That was a very funny period as well. 06 as well. We went to Dublin. Yep. yep. There was, and that's, <laughs> where we, that's where we got to ride a machine which a lot of the European enthusiasts go on about. Ride it's now the Ghost Rider. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. That looks bloody that crazy. The RDS, yes, it's a booster. And we were lucky enough to get it on there. And that, yeah, was, on that. that was fabulous. It's bloody good, that does. Some of these European rides, I try not to look at them because it just makes me want to ride them. So I kind of like, no, I'm not even going to look at them. <laughs> the Power Wave Polyp was there. That was at RDS, which still go, it goes back to RDS now. That was there. It's You're a quite well travelled, aren't you, Coops? There was a break dance there from Switzerland called the Formula One. That was good. There you go. And you got photos of all this on your on your website? Yeah. Also outside the um, RDS that year, I had two machines that now are owned by AB Danta. Which is that? Is that the... Uh... Point wheel, which was birds at the time. Yeah. And the other was a brand new Star Flyer, which opened three months before. Oh, is that the very one that's got, got one. recently, isn't it? The mm. big one. The very first portable one. That's right. Where is it? Where was it? Well, where was it meant to be the season? Barry? Or was it travelling? Oh, yeah, I suppose. We don't know. No. Wasn't air supposed to be at Barry for the season? <laughs> I heard a rumour. It's a rumour. I don't know. I don't no. I didn't really read into it. No, you do hear a lot of rumours, didn't you? Yeah. I mean, Barry. Barry does do does do very well. So I mean, it would it would make sense. If it's a big machine to build up and pull down. If they're going to yeah. do well there for the summer season, why not? Well, the mouse was there last year, wasn't it? Um, mm-hmm. So was that? Yeah. Sorry, Starfly. Sorry, Starfly. Star, yeah. yeah, that's why I had two machines there. Yeah, so po- probably like you said, so si, probably probably would have gone in and done really well there. The machine at Barry that used to travel our area. Um. Is that the, old, the the Miami Rock City? Sorry, sorry. There's two machines in this <laughs> area. Rock City, Miami. Isn't it? Not just the yeah, Miami. Yeah. There's another one as well, the Matterhorn. Oh, that used yes. to be John Davis's, didn't it? I was looking back from my old photos from um, a, the bonfire fair that takes place in Donington near Telford. I used to go yeah. to it after um, Loughborough like about twelve or so years ago. John Davis did yeah. that too. I've never actually done a bonfire fair. Have we, sorry? I haven't done a bonfire fair yet. No, we haven't done any bonfire fairs, but they are mayhem. 
They look, yeah, they just look way too busy, really. Um, it would be hard to, re- it would be hard to vlog. It's dark. Uh, it's loads of people yeah. everywhere. It's, yeah, it doesn't sound. Well, you good. with the baby. Oh, hello. Hi, what happened? What happened? Where's Saigon? We're in a bit of a mare today with this. Is that in there? Is he gone now? Is he? <laughs> I'm sorry, God. He's pulling his microphone out, probably. Yeah, bear with us, guys. Um, Coop's kept cutting out, but I think he's all right now. Sorry, he's completely yeah. vanished. Sorry. Hey, 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 God, I'm not cutting this. This is completely live. So this is this is how we roll. Um, so Coop's, I want to get on to models because you're 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 a big, massive model enthusiast as well, aren't you? As well as the fairgrounds, you like your models. Yeah. Of course, you ha- you own. Um, is it three models you own? I've got. Actually, I've got quite. I've got a half dozen now. Oh, have you? Four ride, three shows. Yeah. Four game and also a lorry. So, are you back now? I am. I don't know what happened there. Right. Yeah, we're just talking about models. Uh, we know Coop's well, likes to play with his model in the dark room at night, don't we, Coop? Uh, certainly sorry. <laughs> does. He certainly does. But you're best known for the Miami model, aren't you, uh, Coops? Oh yeah. Oh, actually. It's you've tacky. seen the Miami, but you've not seen my mirror, mirror maze yet. That's one you've. Was that, not a church, was that not a church town? Not this year. No, I alternate. So I just tend to take Miami one year. I actually took uh-huh. the Miami last year with the mirror maze, but I decided to bring the other show out. What did you oh, have there? I had your, your mirror there, maze. Yeah. Is that what you had? What's that? What did you, I thought you had the mirror maze with the Miami. No? No, it was the Mysterious show, the 3D show. Oh, the 3D before. show. That's right. That's yeah. right. I didn't take that to church down last year, so that's why it came. Uh, how come then? I how did they take them all? I change my layout uh, every time at all the shows. Just do you get allocated out. a certain space then, Coops? You can't take it all. Yeah, yeah you have to book and you know, ask for allocated space and what they give uh, you. Okay, okay. Well, have you have you about... Oh, gone. Sorry. Have you ever thought about building a little ghost train there, Coops? Working one. Yeah, God, Coops, get a little ghost train. Ghost trains are actually they're actually quite popular on the um, model show circuit. I don't like to do anything there's a lot about. Like there's ghost trains and there's also quite and a lot of model horses. There's about fifty Miamis at that model show, Coops. What are you talking about? I know, I know, I know, I know. I, know, I, know. <laughs> I don't like to do anything there's a lot of. <laughs> yeah. Well, hang on a minute. I'm talking, about isn't that past, normal? I'm talking present sense, not past. Okay. There's a lot of the Miamis um which I showed or after I got mine, so Yeah. Right. That's why I made the Mysterious show, because it's one-off. Do you, not do you make these models there. from scratch, Coops? All my shows are, yeah. How do you I build them? What do you use? Um, Kellogg's, Kellogg's cornflake boxes. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I've <laughs> 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 been five minutes on the Kellogg's boxes. Shoe box. Oh, um, I actually use... Shows were made out of MDF. Oh, MDF, fair enough. Yeah, hard right. the MDF board. Not like Dave's Lego. Yeah, I'm, I'm, in, I'm into the old models at the moment. I'm starting with yeah, Lego. Yeah, your Lego twist. Cooper, have you ever started? Have you ever read Lego? Is it not something that really interests you? I used to have Lego when I was a youngster. Oh, yeah. Is it? It's a kid yeah, thing, I think I grew out of it, though. <laughs> and little, yeah. And little Ross got that Lego twist. Yeah, he's got the little twister. It's awesome. I think he's his motorised. You've got to buy the motor separate, which is fucking pain in the ass. Oh, is it? Yeah. Not, yours not motorising, Dave? No, it's, you do, it's hand crank, but you can. The motor's like six quid off eBay, so you, you can buy that and it's motorised then. So it's ready for motor functions. You put a little mic on it and stuff. Go, here we go, hold tight, hold tight. Actually, I've got an app on my phone with like a strobe light app with a camera flash. <laughs> I'm going to put a bit yeah, of that on, get some strobe yeah. going on. That's it's it. awesome, isn't it? I did, a little, I did build a little pay box for it. Did you see out of scrap Lego I could find in Cameron's box, but it's a bit naff. It's all right <laughs> for a first attempt. Don't forget to put two tokens on it. So that's it, a little sign, just two tokens. Two Um, What's next on the agenda, boys? Yeah, Coops, I just want to... Like, we, we did kind of touch on this last week, but I want to get Hello. your opinion on it, because you're someone who's been travelling a bit longer than Simon, going around the grounds. Um, a bit older, isn't he? He is, well, he's much older. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he is. Um, this, is a question, this is a question we got last week. I think it's a really good question, um, so I'm going to ask it to you. Um, how do you think fairs have changed over the years? From Like, like we were talking about 
the, the nineties, it seems to be the the best time of the fairs up until now. What's changed the most in your opinion, Coops? I think what's changed a lot, I think, is basically back in those days there wasn't so many rules and regulations around. Mm-hmm. Very, very good point. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, that, that a lot. It's been a lot of it has been sort of um, it's been forced. Like, yeah. Well, we spoke in, to... back years ago in the nineties, and sort of even before then, even back in the swinging sixties, get people crowding around the machines waiting to rise. You don't get that's that. That's it. We just we spoke about that last week, didn't we, Sai? Yeah. Still allow it in broads because when you if you try to get on a um, get on a break dance at night in a German in the fair, you'll be fighting for a seat because they'll be all waiting to jump on. Yeah, so you used to over there, but you, over here you don't get any sort of thing. You're not allowed despite, to, are you? You've got barriers despite, up, and yeah, and that's despite having them having strict regulations over there because they they they're all here to TUV. That's it. Yeah. You've got to have some faith in the, co- in, the, in the general public there. They're not going to snap onto the platform when it's moving. You've got to have a little bit of faith in, uh, in people. Oh, that's um, right, yeah. But like we, we touched on it last week about the waltzes gathering around the platforms, creating an atmosphere. You know how to do that now. It's silly, isn't it? Uh, and it just kind of ruins, ruins the atmosphere, doesn't it? Twelve years ago, that did. Who's waltz is the one that's got the perspex on it round, round the platform so you can still go on the platforms? Atmosphere crater, I think. The crater's got it. Well, that's still, you're not still allowed on the platform, are you, Coops? You still can't. We can still queue around it on the busy affairs. Oh, you can. Like, yeah, yeah you can, that... you can stand there on the atmosphere. I've always have done. Is that why the perspex are there then, just to kind of like a barrier? Yeah. 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 Good idea. That is a good idea. So yeah. At the busy affairs, Albert has a queue system going round the um, platform. And ran ran the um, walkways, or platform walkways. When before we go, do you jump on? Yeah, um, oh, I, I, we need to do some of these waltzes at a big fair side, like Hull or Goose. Um, could you imagine yeah. the atmosphere, man? Oh yeah, something like atmosphere crater at Hull yeah. on a Saturday night. Yeah. What's that, Coops? I was just saying, it wouldn't be no, it wouldn't be any good for anxieties like like me and you today, sorry, would it? That's the True. trouble, isn't it? You do suffer with anxiety quite a bit. Um, so I was quite bad at Dorset. Uh, luckily enough, the fair at Dorset was quiet, wasn't it, Si? It's just everywhere else. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That was the first year, wasn't it? Yeah. Because we went on the Monday last time because of you. And, uh, yeah, and dead. sorry. <laughs> yeah, then, uh, don't, go, don't go on the Monday unless you've got a four-day pass. But don't just go on the Monday. It's pointless. Um if it's on this year, which I doubt it will be, but if it is, so I would go for the Saturday and, and stay to the midnight. Do you hear the old uh, the, the whistles, old horn. the horns, the whistles? Coop would be there with the horn. He'd, he'd have his own <laughs> horn. horn Coop has always got the horn. Yeah. Don't slaz into a t-shirt, show, show it through. <laughs> he got hard nipples. I've been saying it all uh, on the groups about for far as this year's concerned. We've just got to wait and see what happens, basically. We've just got... Basically, how long's a piece of string? Well, there's yeah. been a lot of speculation, especially on Facebook yeah. over the weekend, isn't there? But yeah. like I'm said, still can... going to go. I'm still going with the small affairs with social distance. We'll be able to open, but the big ones, no, no chance. I don't think the big ones. I don't think the little ones. But again, it's just my personal opinion. Like Coop said, no one really knows. It's no. it's all guesswork, really. Yeah, isn't I, don't, it? I don't really want to be drawing to guess in the moment. It's just it's all it's all ifs and buts. Exactly. Um spots and cop that, you know. Cop that, but it's not going to blow over. It's gonna, it's gonna be, it's gonna be here to stay for a while, isn't it? Um, Coops. Yeah. Gonna, you've also got a YouTube. Uh, so obviously, we spoke about the website. Um, that'll be linked in the description. Also, Cooper's YouTube channel will be linked in the description. Fair picks videos. That's right. Uh, yeah. I'm just looking for your channel. Do you know what your your highest viewed video is. I like to do this. Test people on their channels. Super Trooper. It is. It's Cy Abbott's. Cy Abbott's Super, Super Trooper. Awesome. On... 2011. Bloody hell. He's good in his Cy Coops. He's good. He's got a book though, isn't he? I do often, I do often get, um, I often still get comments on it as well. That has 144,000 views, which is incredible, yeah. really. Um, and you also your total channel numbers. You're you're approaching one million uh, views, very close to one million total views, yeah. which is incredible, Coops. I really recommend it. If you take the time to sift through the playlist in the videos, there's some really good videos on there. 
Um, and whatever, Coop, whatever camera Cooper's been using, though, all his videos look like really old fashioned and grainy, but it like it looks really good. <laughs> old fashioned and grainy, a bit like Coop. Yeah, a bit like Coop. But even oh, that will be a lot of them, I suppose, was because the old video, the old um, was using the old camera back, sort of the early two thousands. But that's it's it. Even years, like if you, if you look at um, an old camera. If you look at videos from 2006, because technology has changed so yeah. much, and right. everyone's everyone's bloody phone well, camera is amazing. The old ones taking off the video VHS. Yeah, they look really. It's, it's, it adds to it. They look old. They look they look old. It's, it's just mm. awesome videos, like that Dorset one from 1996. I watched the quality. If that was in modern HD, it wouldn't look as good. But because it's grainy and it looks old, it gives just, it that feel. Yeah, the oldie fashion feel. It looks awesome. So yeah, yeah the oldie fashion. Have you watched 96. the Top Buzz as well, um, Dave? About the what? The Top Buzz? Top Buzz. Um, I'm not sure. Scan. I will, though. I'll, I'll go and watch it. <laughs> Do, it. Do it. Do it now. Do it. <laughs> that was good, that was that year. August 1998. I think Marcus Gaines has got some coverage of that. On his video from... Um, yes. He did one about Wickham. He's, He's got finished, quite a lot of VHS yeah, stuff. He finished well. sequences from Salsi that year when the top bus came. Bloody hell. We'll be lucky to get one of them down here now, won't we? No, yeah, they are no chance. Oh. I wish I was... That happened a few years ago. Joe, Joe William opened there. Oh, really? What do you mean a few years ago? What's, 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 a, what's a few years ago, Coops, for you? I think it was. Ah. Uh, so Dave started two years too late. I yeah. know, man. It seems that way, doesn't it? I've seen to, uh, I've heard, went, heard all the stories about it. Stood, it's now where Denzel goes with his Sam um, booster. Oh yeah, and, I know. Uh, yeah, he took Dave, his spot the following year. Yeah, Dave was too busy trotting around Portland's Park back then. <laughs> I was <laughs> Port Park <laughs> theme park fanny in theme yeah. park fanny in. Coops, uh, the big question is, Coops, have you ever been kicked in the? Nuts. Oh, flash, flash. <laughs> Have you ever been kicked in the nuts whilst flashing on the gas? <laughs> Have you <laughs> he's gone quiet, so I, I think I think we might have rumbled him here. As he jumped out beyond the wall. You ever just said cop that <laughs> <laughs> Right, we've got the biggest, biggest question. Biggest question for you, Dave. I've right, got a go. you. Oh, bloody hell. Ro- ro- oh. reversal. Right, have you ever cross dressed before? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. No. What do you mean, oh, dressed? Have you ever thought about it? <laughs> I've never put on a lady's oh, dress. Yes, Dave's dress rehearsal went quite well. I must Coach, have what did we speak about before the stream? I said that's banned, <laughs> that topic. It was going to be broken. Right, are always right. Be Moving on swiftly. Um, Coops, we got some, we got some YouTube questions. So should I fire YouTube f- YouTube questions? Oh, we'll fire them away. We got Mark from Ride UK. He starts with a big coop. <laughs> uh, what style of ride that we no longer see traveling the circuit? Uh, Example Speedway, would you like to see back? So, what ride that used to travel the circuit would you like to see back traveling the circuit? Basically, octopus, hey, octopus, is that yeah, yeah, he cut out then again. Many at the moment, so, it'd be nice to see one on the road, even if it's Joby Carter's one. I know it's a lot of manpower no. set up, pull away, but it'd be nice to see someone talk, take the chance, just travel one, yeah, well, a we... proper one, Dave, not not, not a... Carter's. Is that not a proper one? I've not done any. Well, so it I've is a proper it. one, but it's... Carter's is, yeah. It's a proper one. It is a proper one, but to me, it lacks the <laughs> atmosphere of, of a, a real one. fair. Yeah. No, I don't want to say I didn't mean real fair, but Carter's are more family orientated, aren't they? Yeah. You won't, old yeah. Exactly. Yeah. They just don't get that the same kind of... That was, was Joby's dad's intention when he was alive, John. Yeah. The family Put a family traditional vintage fair on. And they, they've nailed it, to be fair. They have nailed it. Um, yeah. I get what you mean, Si, about you don't get the atmosphere with that like, you would have an evening fair at a hole. Or no, it's, like a different, it's a whole different ball game, though, isn't it, with cars? It's, it's, I mean, what they've done with their fair, massive respect. But it, it's, I'm, I'm a, an old school, proper 
you know, really loud music, boom, boom, flashy light, man, you know, not bulbs. Yeah, I know where you're coming from, Si. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> man. We're own, aren't we, basically? We all we just have our own, have our yeah. own taste, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. And there's definitely a yeah. market for them, isn't there? Well, there is. Oh, yeah. Shows. Yeah, yeah. Their grounds are always absolutely even. Um, videos from, I think it was Hull. Do you see some videos, I think, that was put on from Hull, say, in the 90s? You see what Albert was like with his walls. So when he was playing the, all the old school hardcore on. Oh, yeah. You, you, you love the happy yeah. hardcore coops, didn't you? Yeah. Is that what your favourite music is in the fairground, coops? Do you like the old hard, drum and bass hardcore? Yeah. <laughs> gets his moves bouncing. Personal <laughs> preference, actually. Hey. Hey. For it trance, maybe a bit of old school rave music, even some eighties. It doesn't matter. It just yeah, eighties. It. it goes with the um, it goes with the atmosphere in the scene. Yeah, yeah. Oh, did we speak about this last week? So si? someone asked about fair music, and we said yeah. it's almost like every every ride should have a different playlist. Like waltzers, I, I like a bit of eighties on the waltzers. Nothing you yeah, can't yeah, beat yeah. a bit of eighties or 90, early nineties on the waltzer. Yeah, um, a nice sing along. Yeah. Nice sing along as you're spinning around, spewing Billy out. Ocean. Yeah. Billy Ocean. Billy Ocean. We've got one from Mandy Mole. Uh, first, she said Cooper approves. Cooper approves. Uh, do you, Coops? I was waiting for that. Do I approve? Yeah. Do you approve? No! I'll tell you later. Tell you later. <laughs> she said, Have you ever been a gaff boy back in the day? So have you ever done any work on the fairs? That's an interesting question. Hmm. Um, no, I wouldn't say I've, I haven't travelled with them. No, but you, you probably can, helped out, have you? I can tell you years ago, we used to go to um, some, I think it was one of some of the fairs, we used to go to Ham Court a lot because a mate of mine, I hope he's listening, Rob Payne, I hope they've got lads listening from Trowbridge. I used to, I used to take him so we can help um, Benny Irving on the Orbiter because he used to like money taking for him. All right, and, yeah. And when he got busy, I often used to sort of help Rob out. Yeah. But, it all depended on how, how, how much full-time staff Benny had at the time. That's and, it. Yeah, that's one, that's one thing I could say. I did I just did now and again. So you kind of, yeah, you helped out here and heavy, there. I wasn't a heavy helper, but I did used to be, do a little no. bit. So when it comes yeah. time to um, pull down, you, 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 you're out of there. <laughs> and that right, so. <laughs> Actually, when it comes down to pull down, yeah. they want to be there with a camera to take pictures of it. Yeah, you don't, you don't want to get his hands dirty or break a nail. <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly. Uh, um, no, that's right, because they're, they're all being trimmed down. We've got another one, Coops, from Mr. Gavin Wolves. He says, is it true that the showmen run the ride speeds lesser in the day to keep the more extreme ride speed to the evening? So, uh, uh, yeah, do showmen r run rides slower during the day and speed up at night? I think everybody, this is pretty much a well-known thing, isn't it, uh, in the community? Oh, um, it depends really it, it depends yeah it's like it's what daytimes are for families aren't they coops and evenings yep. are for your your teens in the except if it's the first ride of a day and there's nobody on it and uh terry wants me to get me on the twist so he runs it full power to see how i react yeah well, yeah bloody hell i know You're listening terry yeah yeah on john's he twist he nearly killed me in you at Pusey. well me didn't he sorry <laughs> Yeah, he, I remember, yes. mate. I sat with Christian, and Christian, he, he, I think he thought he was going to die at one point. <laughs> hey, Christian, <laughs> he left his bum a voice message and everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah, I remember that night in Pusey, that twister. He opened her up. I've never, I've never felt anything like it. Unbelievable. Um, we got one from QPR Forever Coops. He said. If you could make your dream fun fair, what rides would you have? I think we should limit it to like five rides. What do you reckon, Sai? We'll limit it down. Yeah. Five rides. What five rides would you have at a gaff? Top, so, yeah. Your dream fun fair, Coops. Five machines. Right, okay. Five, yeah. Well, look, oh, you'll be all night. Great. You got <laughs> yeah. a big, you got a great dance at the entrance. Great dance at the entrance. Like that. I'd have a set of dodgems. Yeah. Who's Which... dodging so? <laughs> right from Europe. One from Europe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, That's a cheap yeah. answer, that Coops. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I... What do you have? We we'll probably have a uh, say. That's two, isn't it? We should, uh, have, we'd have to have a wall, so wouldn't you? Yes, yeah, so that's yeah. three. What's that? Machines. Um. I say I put I'll put a balance, nice balance, right? You can get an old school machine in like a set of gallopers. Yeah. yeah. And then the fifth machine we're reserved for a big hitter. 
Um, I know. Move it 32. What's that? Yes. Move it. Have I done Move that? Move it 32. No, you haven't. There isn't one here now. It's gone. It's in oh, Belgium what? now. It used to what travel. Like what type of ride is it? Move it 32. Like a superstar. Oh, I have seen that. And it actually it spins on the platform. It spins, well. on, the it spins on the turntable and turns around on, on top of on itself mm. while the um isn't there one at Adventure Island in South End? The Dragon's they've got, Call? They've got a they've got that's a different, different ride, is it? Yeah. It's a spin out that is that was that said. Ah, um, but I I know exactly what you mean. It was I've built seen by, it was built order one in um over at I must say. One at Adventure Island was built yeah. by Rich was built by Tivoli, Richard Walls, under license from K and G. Okay. So that looks bloody good. I wouldn't mind going on that. Adventure yeah. Island's on the bucket list, Si. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but it is very, very similar to the Move It 32, yeah. except the Move It 32 sort of goes up like the... Um, it's the original. Super it's spin. Like upside yeah, down yeah. as well. So it's like, um, yeah. Megaspin. <clears throat> yeah, Megaspin. It's kind of like Megaspin sort of... It's been on turntable. That's right. Has that ever been down the... south? Yeah. I so, think it's Hampton, isn't it? Bloody hell. <laughs> Oh, I wish yeah. I was about back it in the day. <laughs> I'll come into this at the wrong time, Si, and I? You have, mate. Yeah, <laughs> without a doubt. If you love you Miami like waltzes and dodgems, you're, you're, you're well away at the time. <laughs> you're, a bit, you're, you're in there now. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. What do you reckon about Cooper's five, five rides? I like that. I think that's a good selection of rides. I think like it's good, said. but I would have taken the gallopers away and put... Um, <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> and put uh, Pauline's twist in there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But then Point. I do like a good set of gallopers, and they're they're more. I think Coops is thinking more for the for everyone. You have got a bit of family in there. You have got some thrill in there. My so personal opinion: tough, tough get shit, Coops. <laughs> get out, get out, Coops. <laughs> then, but then you know, sorry, it's always subject to change. That's it. Yeah, exactly. Well, you could have a set of ladybirds in there. I wouldn't call that a machine. Yeah. If I was gonna put if another machine needed to be put in there, I would have stuck somewhere like the Voyager. Big yeah. and imposing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've got a story about that too, riding the Voyager. Where's the Voyager? I don't know what that is. Well, the Skymaster. Yeah, the big one. Yeah, that's so right. I came to Dorset one year. I, was, I think it was the second year it was there, so I thought I'd give it a go. I had a ride on it. Next minute, all I can see was this tingling going on out, <laughs> out of the ride. I yeah. forgot, and I had a pocket full of copper coins in my back pocket. Oh. <laughs> they all came flying out as as we were going over the top. Yeah, people on the floor just hitting the deck. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> doing what I did. I lost about I lost about eighty quid on John's superstar. <laughs> yeah, you did. You did. Sorry, didn't you? We lost a bit of that zipper he had. We got the ride for free, but he paid for it and lost coins, didn't he? So. Yeah, yeah, completely. <laughs> it's like the Only Fools Norses episode when it, it goes upside down and his, and his donuts fall out. <laughs> and that right, yeah. kids? <laughs> Is that what it was? Yeah, one, I, of those, one of them? You remember that zipper he had? I, I lost a few quid on that once when they opened it up and it was quite a good ride on it. it lost a few pounds. Well, yeah, yeah, Cooper's purse doesn't come open very often, does it, So. <laughs> Oh, all those moths must have been everywhere <laughs> that night. <laughs> <laughs> his little purse, little purse, he counts little his... black purse. He counts his change out for the rides. Um... <laughs> did that in Oxford, did he? Yeah. Uh, Three, Phil. Um, <laughs> Philip Barth asked, what is the motivation beyond starting a YouTube channel? Is that just a continuation of the website, Coops? That's how I look at it. It's, the YouTube channel is just... <coughs> always look at it it's not it's not really my main source it's actually just an extension to the website and of course posting video to youtube is much easier than posting video online because of storage space i suppose and stuff like that you have to pay for your website uh domain coops is it yeah Yeah, so to upload a load a load of videos i bet that would have to be hefty wouldn't it oh no right it's it's quite good quite good package i got actually yeah but like you said youtube you just you can just literally pump them all onto there and people watch youtube videos on youtube anyway don't they yeah that's so true it's an all-in-one place for video content so yeah that's philip's question um ride freaks asks what camera do you use so what's your current shooter 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 <laughs> there he is i've actually got myself well i used to use the olympus but i've actually gone away from that yeah so basically i've, I've taken 
you're taking on basically the cameras that my parents used to use. It's not right. the moment. Yeah. What, Polaroid? <laughs> yeah. What is it? What camera? I didn't hear that. The camera I'm currently using at the moment is a Fujifilm. Fujifilm? Bloody hell. Yeah, I've currently got that at the moment. Do they yeah. still make cameras, Fuji? Uh, you have to take it, the film down to the shop and get it, get it bloody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've also got a Canon here somewhere, which um, one day I'm going to get out to use. How many cameras do you then, Coops? Oh, I don't know. There's a few here. I've just got. To, I've got to try and sort them out at some point because it's, well, it's, they... it's basically it's basically stuff being left behind. And my parent, my grandma, and my parents left me. So. He's cool because he's got he's got his nice little carrying case around his neck, and he so he puts his camera in. Yeah, he's always on the roof. Ring your neck in a minute. Uh, ring your that, neck. And then, he, and then he pulls his little purse out of his pocket. And yeah, he's got a little he's got the little zip on it. He's got his little camera in his, in his in little holder. I saw a couple. I saw you pull out a few tuppence. You know. <laughs> yeah, blowing them off. <laughs> <laughs> So that is, to answer his questions, you use you you got a variety of cameras, but you you just switch into a Fuji film. I thought I don't think they made Fuji film anymore. I've got to say, I just no. thought it was next night. Is it no, Nikon? Nikon Fuji and Canon. Pics is what they call them? Fuji pics. Fuji pics, yeah. But yeah, there you go. That's that's Cooper's camera. A lot of people just use their phones, like me. But Coops has still got a Nokia thirty two ten knocking around, and he Coops. <laughs> Coops said he couldn't even download Discord app on his phone. That's how old it is. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he uses them as a weapon. Yeah, <laughs> that's your protection on the gaff, isn't it, Coops? In case someone tries to mug you for your uh... <laughs> whack them with this great big <laughs> Nokia, take their head off, wouldn't it? Um, we got one from Danny. He said, what, "What ride would you like to see come to the UK circuit?" So, what European ride should we say? Would you like to come to the UK, Coops? Even just travel us for have a year on the UK circuit. What ride? Mm. Trying to think. Of, yeah, I tell you what, it would be something that would probably kill you, actually, Dave. Oh, I knew that. I knew that was coming. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Infinity. Infinity. Yeah, I knew KMG. you were going to say that. KMG. You probably knew I was going to say that. Yeah. What's um, that like? An XXL that goes all the way over. Yeah. <laughs> Bloody hell! How many of them in the? We just got one in the world. One made, so, yeah, only one made. Have you done it? Yes. Oh, bloody hell. Is it nice? It's on my channel, you... Oh, is it? I have to go in and seek that Horseman's one out. Horseman's done it as well. Oh, yeah, he's done it, yeah. Bloody hell, I thought he'd done that. Oh, my God! How oh, good! Oh, John! <laughs> John. <laughs> Definitely so, on my books to ride. Maybe it'll come to Winter Wonderland one year. Okay, no, because they've got XXL there, haven't they? So they won't... Yeah. Different ride. They may, but still, they might... They might... Be little mm. XXL. Um, <laughs> we've got two now. We've got one from George Cobley. He says, "What ride does Cooper approve of the most?" So, is that what's your favourite ride, Coops? What's the one ride that you really approve of? We'll keep it in the UK because it's uh, we're UK yeah, based. UK. Yeah, I have to. Yeah, hey, do you have to? Yeah, we're we're UK based, aren't we? Come on, Coops. Yeah, we're UK based, but I do, I do, I still. I'm I know it's German, but I still prove the Kinsers break dance. Yeah, we just said yeah. in the UK, Coops. Yeah, come on. Let's <laughs> let's do do <laughs> oh, God. Bloody hell, Coops. Come on. That's easy enough uh, question. Okay, do, you... do I approve of most? Mm. What do you really approve of? What gets your. You know what I really approve of? of? Been, it hasn't opened yet. I really approve of the restoration that's been done to it lately. That's um, Horton's break dance. You ain't been on it yet. Mm. No, yeah, no, I really yet, think it? what they've done to it. <laughs> Elks, it? I didn't know it was going to be this hard, so I didn't get a bloody answer out of him, did you? <laughs> there you go. He really approves of the um, break dance. He's never ridden it. Um. <laughs> I mean, uh, that's that's up in um, uh, Ocean uh, Park. Yeah, it's where, it's where my um, stepdad comes from, yeah. Go, go, and put, go and give him a visit. Get well, on, they, he lives in Winchester now with me mother, ah. you fool. <laughs> but when they go up, when they go up to Sunderland, they always go there. Yep. Okay, and Coops, we've got, we got we've got another one, Coops. This is contrast to the other question. We've got one from Tiffany. It says, "What ride do you not approve of?" Mm. <laughs> when you say Tiffany, I thought you were going to say, "Do you think we're alone now?" But 
Go on, Coops. What ride do you not approve of? He, he those, won't tell they, us, will he? Those, those cogs turning. Oh dear, oh dear. Do we have to answer it? Yeah, we knew that. I knew you were going to yeah, say that. But it that. could be, it doesn't have to be like you don't like the ride. It could because you've had a bad experience on it. You find it intense. So you don't find it intense enough. It doesn't have, It doesn't mean it's a bad ride. It just means like, would would you not approve? It's like me. I'd say you don't approve of bloody hangover or waltzes because they do me in. Um, so you're not going to get in trouble, Coops. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> uh, I suppose maybe I could say I didn't approve when I come off a super spin that day, but then... <laughs> That's, that's the, perfect. That's not in the country anymore, so... No, it's not in the country anymore, no. so... No. Was that day, I think. There was that day, I think. I just I don't think I felt that good. No. Coops, I'm still waiting for an answer. <laughs> it's not in the country he's, anymore. He's, he's trying to avoid it. Yeah. Coops. Try to answer. Coops. I think of anything. Come on. TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany, you've really put him on the spot here. <laughs> <laughs> Good question. <laughs> he's, he's not answering, is he? <laughs> Come on, Coops. Get lynched if I answered it. See if it's spend that count. It's not in the country anymore. Yeah, but is it never, is, is a ride never made you throw up before, Coops? Hey. No. Bloody hell. All right, so what do you reckon? We get, we're not going to get an answer, are we? I don't know. Oh. I, I... Well, well, I'm gonna put. Let's put Simon the spot. What machine would you least? <laughs> you need to turn it on to Simon now. <laughs> what machine would I least approve of? Anything at Carter's Steam Fair. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Anything no, that costs okay. more than two tokens. I, I tell you what, I could say. I could say let, let's say something at um, something at Four Park. Oh yeah, that yeah, works. Yeah. Coops don't approve so, of the way they run there. I don't approve of the thing. Some of the um, some of the um, machines that um, uh, what did I approve of? I thought it was a load of. Well, you can say you don't approve of the way they run their uh, top scan. There you go. Point. Or, or they've got a KMG afterburner that's not run to potential. Right. There we go. We got there in the end. Oh yeah. Uh, but you sorry. I didn't ask my question, did he? No, it's hard I'm going to go. Actually, to be fair, when Dave just said that, it made me think completely. <laughs> yeah. About, but I was thinking more on the travelling circuit. Um, but I didn't yeah. realise you were involved in theme parks. So we will. Uh, we'll just we'll let Cooper have that one. <laughs> we'll let him have it. So I'd say I'd I'd be with that with the KMG um, afterburner, afterburner yeah. need it uh, and just a waste, isn't it? Sorry, it's a complete waste. Okay, absolute any ride at a theme park. Um, um, ride. I'm not going to say flat because they're not <laughs> flat rides. Um, any ride that's at a theme okay. park <laughs> is completely wasted. It's ruined. They yeah. shouldn't buy. Like, a law. <laughs> no, I'm going to put. Yeah, yeah, there should be a law against it. Yeah, I, I totally Samurai. agree. Samurai is run like absolute shut, shot shit, shit. Samurai. Shit. Samurai. There is Samurai. the top that scan. is the <laughs> worst top scan I've ever. Ever been on? It's Absolutely probably, awful. But once it, once it's open enough, I'm sure it's. If that was on a travelling circuit, it would show I'm sure it would. Bloody brilliant! Yeah. Oh yeah. But the I way it's run, run it, uh, the thing is with Samurai though, it's really well. Samurai's a part model. It was never. It's ne it was never. Bit, it was not actually a travelling machine anyway. No. A, yeah. yeah. It was built to order, but for um swords when they when they owned the but I'm sure they owned the parks. You probably get it to to fold up. I'm sure there's not too much difference. I'm sure you could. Sure, um... Someone like James Manners would make it travel. Would make it into a travelling model. Yeah, a bit I of... think. I think what he did to that Star Flyer. That Star Flyer was a park machine. She made it travel. Is it the um, Zero Star shapes? Aren't they not meant to travel? Aren't they like Abe was the first to do them travel? That wasn't he? It can be road models as well. I can say because there's. I know there's a couple of static models of those star shapes yeah. abroad. Um, there was one in Bling in Blackpool Pleasure uh, Beach. They have one. That they? one apparently is a one motor machine. When we say air and um, high energy in Germany are two motor. Oh, are they? Crap. Was it crap? So I never went on yeah, it. Yeah, rubbish. So again, just the it just goes to show you theme parks shouldn't have rides like that. It's a size rant of the week. Theme parks. That's yeah, my <laughs> theme parks should not have rides like that. They're not so, run to their potential. Sort of out. <laughs> Sorted out. 
stupid park money grabbing freaks. There we go. <laughs> plus, um, plus the throughputs are always really bad at theme parks, and like, those kind of machines, you need to really get them, you know, people on it in, in and out quickly. And yeah, they're not mm-hmm. designed to for fannies, right? Um, <laughs> no. Well, that's no. it, pretty much, boys. I've gone through the the agenda, the list, and uh, I've had a really uh, really good time talking to you. So thank you. Any anything else you want to say, Coops? Plug your website. Plug your YouTube. Over to you. I was going to say, so Dave, thanks very much for um, your time. I really enjoyed that. It was a good, good. I enjoyed it as well, Coop. Yeah, and we just, we just want one day. We we'll say we could get back to having fun again. Yeah, we can like do this in person, can't we? Yeah. Well, well we our uh, Milton Kings Mega Northampton Mega Trip. Hopefully, we can do it this year. Um, oh, I hope so. So it's one of the best death days I've ever had on it. So me, you, and Coops. I've been told yeah. that um, I've been told with um, people been asking about Nottingham and Hull. Yeah, I've been told Nottingham's position is going to be in August. So we won't, we, we, so we can keep we we'll keep guessing now for another three months at least. Yeah, they're not going to pull the plug just yet, are they? I think I, they're going to. It's too I, early. It's too early. Good time. That's it. Um, same with Dorset. That's the end of August. I'm uh, I'm kind of thinking we'll hear a decision in the next few weeks on Dorset or is that still early because they're planning I'm sure we're going to hear a decision soon yeah, probably soon yeah I've okay, been... August events already that's it that's it man I'm sure I'm sure we'll be hearing something on that because is Dorset that, in, t- in terms of an event Dorset is probably bigger than a hole isn't it as an event yeah so it's quite Dorset can go ahead planning. exactly I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm surprised they haven't pulled the plug I really am, but again, well, it's I'll... out in the middle of the middle of nowhere in a field, so you know. Yeah, but well, remember that year we went with the parking. They're going to try and keep social distance in there. It's going to be a nightmare. They can't, can they? That's what. Do you know what? That's what I said to Cooper earlier on. If they reopen small affairs, which I still believe they will, yeah, on the dodgems they'll have like a two meter measuring stick, so you can't go any closer. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, hey. definitely no bumping, not head on bumping, no bumping, <laughs> no bumping whatsoever. You know. <laughs> just well, I mean, you on the Miami, that'd be interesting. Yeah, one, one yeah. seat apart, two seats apart, two it? seats apart, wouldn't it? I reckon it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. I um, think it will. Do you reckon? Yeah. They have to put their prices up because every cycle will be half the capacity. Um. <laughs> I doubt. No, they wouldn't put the prices. I think, if anything, they'd lower them because just to get, get more people, people in. Yeah, you know they've got to make money, just like we have. Yeah. Dude, listen, I haven't got now. It's I know the machines pubs... like twist. They'll have to probably, um, except for if it's same household, they'll have to. Um, people have to ride in separate cars. Same as yeah. the walks as well. Yeah. Separate cars. I mean, it, it, yeah, it could work. Especially, like you said, small affairs just don't get the numbers, do they, anyway? Not really. <laughs> the problem is now, where everyone's been stuck indoors, everyone will yeah. go out down the fair, won't they? It'd be, be even. friggin' packed, don't they, yeah. But again, they might have to fence them off and let a certain amount of people in at yeah. one time. Get one of those clickers, see how many people come through. The yeah. Gym. Restrict it. Even do wristband fairs two hours yeah, at a time. Two hours at a time, yeah. You know. I'm sure there's a workaround. There is. There's a reach around as well, but I haven't had that for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on that bombshell, um, <laughs> cop that, cop, cop that, it. come on, um, out about it. Yeah, to, to Coops. Yeah. When the fair's coming back, I'm going to put you on the spot. When are the fair's coming back, Coops? Yeah. Are you have a shit. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll see what. The... <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> no, I didn't. I've been up here. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Copes, when's the fair's coming back? <laughs> <laughs> Is he there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. Oh, you don't tell well, me you dodged another question, I'm Si. Gonna just, well, I'm going to just say, right? <laughs> Ask me this. What's a piece of string? No, oh, yeah, okay. He's Coop, good at Coop he's good like, at dodging questions, isn't he? Coop was like that. Riddle you, riddle me this, riddle me that. <laughs> <laughs> From Little Britain, man, isn't he? He'd get the flute out in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. I'm going. Right. Uh, thanks so much, Coops. 
Cheers, Si. Welcome, Thanks, lads. Thanks we'll all be welcome. bringing you uh, vlogs very soon, won't we, Coops? Yeah. See you later, Coops. Bye, Si. Bye, all. Bye. 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 Bye.